Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and happy December. This is, I think this is, yeah, this is the first video I'm putting up in December. So that means it's nearly Christmas and I've got my advent calendar there, if you can see it. And yes, it is a Peppa Pig one and I love it. Um, so I just got back from parents evening and we spent like hardly any time there because I only had to see three teachers. So I got back and I was in a really good mood to film a video. So I'm going to film my November favourites. So throughout November I've been loving a lot a lot of stuff, makeup, beauty and a lot of random stuff as well. So I'm going to share them with you today and I really hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start off with makeup products and a lot of the makeup products that I'm going to be using you would have seen in my previous video which was um, my makeup tutorial. Um, the first one is the foundation that I used which was the Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation. I have been struggling lately to find a foundation that actually What's the word? I have been finding it, finding it. I have been finding it really hard lately to use a foundation that actually looks nice on my skin. As you guys know, I have acne, and I find it really hard to find a foundation that can cover my acne but doesn't look cakey and isn't really thick because I hate that kind of foundation. Um, and also because my body is yellow based, but my um, face is really red based, which is so so annoying. I need a yellow based foundation to get kind of to balance it out and make it look actually normal um, and this foundation is just really really good I think it's like a medium coverage but you can build it up to be full coverage I find that it's really easy to blend into the skin as well and it doesn't go cakey at all and it stays on for ages what does it say on it does it say anything about state um, 24 hour moisture hydration poor blaring effect and even with this on, my nan's just said to me then, because I've got it on now, and um, she said, oh, all your spots have gone. So it does a good job of hiding my acne, which I really, really like. And then to apply that foundation, I have been using the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which I've put back in the package. I don't know why, I just really like the packaging of it. And for the purpose of this video, um, this is the Your Base Flawless Expert Face Brush, high definition, high definition results, online tour, blah, blah, blah. yeah. Expert face brush. Expert face brush. Um, I recently in this year got um, the core collection brushes from Real Techniques, which I have wanted for the longest, longest time, and I was so, so happy that I could finally get them. And then I got this one up the other day. Picked this one up the other day because I'd seen a lot of YouTubers use it, and it looked really good. Um, and, and as I was saying, I was, I was having a lot of trouble with my foundation, trying to get it to look nice and look blended in and not look cakey and with the help of getting a new foundation the one I showed previously and using this brush I think I found my perfect combination which is really good and I'll get it out to try and show you I also use this video in this video I also use this brush in my last video um, but yes this is it so it's kind of more condensed than the buffing brush where's that one this one yeah um, so this is the Real Techniques buffing brush which is a lot more circular and this one is the expert face brush with expert face brush which i think is a lot more condensed and more like oval um so you get kind of a more what's the word i'm looking for blends out a lot more easily can't think of the word so i'm just going to use that phrase um so yeah this brush has literally been a lifesaver and i absolutely love it i've put them two back in there now I'll do. <laughs> Makeup favourite is the Rimmel London Stay Blushed Liquid Cheek um, Tint and I have mine in 001 Pop of Pink. Um, this is one that my friend actually gave me the other day um, and I have been loving this so much. I've got it on now um, and I hate wearing blush out. I've always had powder blushes and I never like them. They just I think they make me look cakey. Oh my goodness, I haven't put this on record. Yes, I've been loving this. Um, you only need a tiny bit as well because it does come out really um, really pigmented, which I made a mistake of the first time I used it. And I put, I was like, oh, it won't come out. And I had like a big red, like clown cheek. Um, but no, I've been absolutely loving that. And I don't know if this is like the full version or the, if it's like a miniature, but it's a really cute size. So it fits perfectly in like my makeup bag, which I absolutely love. Another product that you would have seen in my previous video, um, this is the Maybelline New York Colour Tattoo 24 Hours and this is in shade Eternal Gold. I used this on my eyes in my previous video and I just absolutely love it. I've never owned one before 
um, but I have heard a lot, a lot about them. Um, after I filmed that makeup look, I then filmed my Q&A, which I put up the video before the last one. Oh my goodness, there's a huge spider up there. Done it throughout filming the makeup video and my Q&A, and then I had it on while I was sitting at home as well. So it really does stay on for absolutely ages and the colour didn't fade which I really liked and it didn't move from the inner corners of my eye which I also really liked and I just think the colour is absolutely beautiful. Most eyeshadows that I've got you can't really tell on my eyes especially because I think I've got really like small eyes so you can't really see eyeshadow on them very well but this I just think it looked absolutely beautiful and I absolutely love it. I keep saying absolutely a lot. Another favourite is one that you would have seen in my video again. Um, this is kind of, do you know those products that you put away, forget about for ages, and then pick it back up and absolutely fall in love with it all over again? This is those ones. This is one of those ones. Um, this is the Makeup Academy Pro Base Complexion Kit. And in here oh, has the um, foundation, the concealer, and the blush. As you can see, the concealer is the one I've used up most and that is the one I love the most. I put it under my eyes as you would have seen in my previous video um, and I've just been loving the concealer. Again, the blush doesn't really do it for me. It just doesn't really show up on the skin and the foundation, to be honest, I haven't really used from when I used it. It was probably eight months, seven months ago. Um, so I sh probably should check the foundation out if I like the concealer. Um, but the concealer is really, really good. I wonder if you can buy the concealer on its own favourite is one, again, you would have seen in my previous video. I promise we'll get onto the things you haven't seen before in a minute. Um, this is the hand palette that I use. I use this um, to put my foundations on. Foundations, as if I have more. Um, I use my foundation and my contour if I'm contouring. And this just saves it getting on the back of my hand. I have always put foundation on the back of my hand and then onto my face. And I can never get the foundation off with like water. And I have to use like makeup remover, which we will come on to in a minute to get it off the back of my hand obviously, which I hate doing. Um, so when I saw these on um, Makeup Box London's Instagram, which I will leave in the description box, the Makeup Box kindly sent me one and I've been using it literally every day that I've been wearing makeup. I absolutely love it. I will leave all of the um, information in the description box if you want to get one of these yourself. But I really like it because it's small and at the beginning I was like, oh my goodness, that's not going to fit on my hand. But it does and it sits nicely right there. And I can just squirt my foundation on it and then put it in, put it in, put it on my face and literally just pull it off when you're finished and go wash it. Right, so when you are finished applying all that makeup on your face, you need to take it off. And what I have been absolutely loving to take my makeup off, like absolutely love, is this. This is probably one of my favourites of my favourites. Um, this is the Garnier my select cleansing water um, I've got the mini one here which is the pink one I don't what's the oh yeah um, this is for sensitive skin and this one is for combinations of oily and sensitive skin I've also done a blog post on um, the Garnier my select cleansing waters and I will also leave that in the description box if you want to check that out but I have absolutely been loving it I just wipe it on a cotton bat cotton pad cotton pad um, and it literally takes the makeup off in one pad and I absolutely love it and I've literally, how long have I had this for? Months and I've literally only used a tiny bit. I've always struggled with taking my makeup off, I don't know why. It just it used to take me for ages, for ages, forever, a long time. And I'm so happy that I found something that I don't dread taking my makeup off with. I absolutely love taking my makeup off now, which is really, really good. So yes, definitely check those out if you want and I think I think as to my, I've been having a deal, but this only cost me three pound. I was like, what? Three pound? So it is really, really good. And it's gonna last me a lifetime. So definitely check this out if you wear makeup a lot and you find it really hard to take it off every day. Lifesaver. So moving on to non-makeup favorites. I'm gonna start off with probably that you'll all hate me for because I mention them in every single video nearly. One Direction's album. As I said in a previous video, I have got a reaction to video on this um, album, but my computer's, well, not my com computer, Windows Live Movie Maker is deciding to just mess it up. So if any of you guys use Windows Live Movie Maker, let me know in the comments. When I press split, like 
it's split to clip. It's just doing this weird thing where it won't split and it's just going back up to the top but it won't let me split. So if any of you guys have had that problem, please let me know how to do it because I really want to get this video up. This is my next favourite. I have been absolutely loving the album. Um, I haven't really been playing it on the CD. I've been most likely playing it on my phone. But I love every song. Like I think I mentioned in my Q&A video, my favourite songs are End of the Day, If I Could Fly, Walking in the Wind, What a Feeling, Never Enough. I just love them all. I absolutely love them. And can we just talk about how attractive Harry looks in this photo, please? Like, his smile. I actually had an album before, like, in my hands. An actual album. I've just been, um, like, I've just usually played it on YouTube and stuff. But because I thought maybe this might be One Direction's last album, which is really upsetting, um, I thought I must buy it so I can have it in my hands forever and ever and ever. So I can play every single day of my life because I absolutely love it. I'll be coming right back home to you Um, the music favourite that I have been loving is Justin Bieber. Now I never ever in a million years thought I'd actually say that. But I have on my phone the only two albums that I've got is One Direction Made in the AM and Justin Bieber Purpose. Which I know is controversial because they came out on the same day and there was this whole controversy thing. But I love both of the albums. One Direction will always be my fave but I'm loving Justin Bieber. How do I, no, how do I, bear, oh, hang on. Thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you did like this video or if you've been liking some of the things that i've been make sure you give it a big thumbs up oh all that hurts make sure you comment um any video suggestions that you have and hit the subscribe button make sure you do it'll keep you posted on all the videos i upload and it's free so there you go um and thank you very much for watching guys i hope you have an absolutely amazing week stay positive and i will see you very very soon bye